Good morning from the Protoss Newsroom. The date today is Thursday the 21st of January and you're listening to the Protoss Daily. These are the headlines this morning. Self-proclaimed Bitcoin creator Craig Wright has issued copyright strikes against sites hosting Satoshi's white paper. Grayscale has boosted its crypto portfolio by 1,000% in the past 12 months. And Pornhub is now accepting payments from 16 cryptocurrencies after adding another four to its roster. At the present time, Bitcoin is trading at 32,400 US dollars after dropping another 7% in the past 24 hours. Polkadot has been the best top 20 performer for the day, up 7.4%, and Bitcoin Cash the worst, down 9%. Bitcoin's white paper could be described as the scriptures of Bitcoin, acting as the foundational blueprints of the cryptocurrency that we know and love today. So you'd have to be a real grouch to try and sue something this cherished. Enter Craig Wright, the self-proclaimed Bitcoin creator who's reportedly issued copyright strikes against sites hosting Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper. In a bid to claim the paper as his own, he's chasing up Bitcoin.org, Bitcoin.com and BitcoinCore.org and attempting to remove all copies of white paper from these sites. And so far only Bitcoin.org has decided to remove the paper. Our guess as to where this copyright hunt stems from is Wright's own belief that his created fork of a fork of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, is in fact the true Bitcoin. The paper was first shared under an open MIT license, usually reserved for code. And not only is it available on the sites I listed earlier, but it also has a home on Craig Wright's blog. However, this particular version of the paper is plagued by spelling errors, which begin right at the headline, Bitcoin, a peer-to-ear electronic cash system. Wright is really into defending his title of supposed father of Bitcoin, from putting up legal notices against Vitalik Buterin, founder of Ethereum, to starting libel cases against a popular Twitter-based space cat who made the brave move of disputing Wright's claim to the Nakamoto moniker. Some in particular are getting rather bored of the same rhetoric. And so some users on Twitter are teasing Wright by uploading the white paper in mass, giving him plenty more time to spend his evenings planning more libel lawsuits. The value of digital asset manager Grayscale's crypto trusts has grown by a thousand percent over the past year, and it now controls more than $28 billion worth of cryptocurrency. In January last year, Grayscale held just $2.5 billion in crypto, but today the company's altcoin assets alone are worth almost twice this amount, mostly made up of 2.95 million Ether worth $4 billion. However, that's nothing compared to its Bitcoin portfolio, which we have calculated manages over 657,400 Bitcoin. That's $22.6 billion, or 3.5% of Bitcoin circulating supply. This is up from 268,000 Bitcoin a year ago. This means that Grayscale added around 389,000 Bitcoin worth $13.4 billion in the past year, which is more than any of its chosen cryptocurrencies. But after looking at the dollar values of Grayscale's crypto today, compared to a year ago, it's clear the fund and its clients have built big positions in popular altcoins Ethereum, Litecoin and Stellar Lumens. In fact, in the end, the only crypto stash Grayscale didn't add was Ripple's XRP. Instead, it exchanged its 20.6 million XRP, worth $4.8 million, for fiat after the Security Exchange Commission sued Ripple for failing to register it with US regulators. The world's number one adult website, Pornhub, has added another four crypto payment options, taking its total number supported to 16. According to research from The Block, yeah, we usually use that excuse too, the portal now supports XRP, 
Binance Coin, Dogecoin, and Center's USDC stablecoin. However, it has stopped accepting Dash and Puma Pay token. As previously reported, Pornhub began defaulting to cryptocurrency payments last year when Mastercard and Visa pulled their support over allegations that it was hosting non-consensual and underage content, claims that it strenuously denies. PayPal had also previously cut ties with the site after it authorised a number of payments without permission. Cryptocurrencies also supported by Pornhub include Litecoin, Tether, Verge, Ethereum, Monero, and of course, Bitcoin. And this pivot to crypto payments has been a cause for celebration among many who believe that, now the adult industry is taking notice, wider adoption across the board is likely to follow. Well, it worked for VHS. We may only be a few weeks into the new year, but according to research from The Block, Crypto miners have already earned more than $728 million in Bitcoin revenue in 2021. This is a big jump from the $692 million earned in December. The figure is also particularly impressive when you consider Bitcoin underwent a reward halving in May of last year. Bitcoin's price recently hit an all-time high, above $40,000 and with it came increased trading volumes and, obviously, a much higher market cap. However, it's not all been good news, as miners have also been forced to contend with massive shortages of mining hardware. BlackRock, the biggest investment management firm holding over $7.8 trillion in assets under management, has filed papers with the Security Exchange Commission outlining apparent intentions to include cash-settled Bitcoin futures for two of its funds. The funds in question, the BlackRock Global Allocation Fund and the Strategic Income Opportunities Portfolio, will, quote, allow to buy cash-settled Bitcoin futures traded on commodity exchanges registered with the CFTC, as well as futures for commodities like gold and oil. The filing goes on to outline that BlackRock has identified the liquidity risks associated with the market. However, it does seem like an investment giant is willing to dive in, making it the latest Wall Street institution to enter the crypto space. Similar to JP Morgan, senior figures at BlackRock have previously expressed scepticism towards Bitcoin, with CEO Larry Fink going as far as suggesting that Bitcoin is nothing more than an index of money laundering. The news, which some consider bullish, hasn't helped the price of Bitcoin much, with most top 20 cryptocurrencies dropping by 5% and more in the past 24 hours. Thank you for listening. To stay up to date with the latest from the world of crypto, make sure you subscribe to the Protoss Daily on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and all other major podcast providers.